I was going to make this video only about this book, and this is a matrix, uh, a linear algebra book for the applied folks. So it's a computational linear algebra book. But when I went through it, it looked so much like the big MIT uh, algorithm book, and I didn't want to make a video about this book. Maybe someday, but I mean, where I focus on it, because I'm, I'm not doing algorithms for a long time, if ever. But I just wanted to show the two books because I'm focusing on this book, but they're so, the style, the style is very similar. If anything, this book is a, uh, an application of a lot of what's in this book, but only for linear algebra. That's basically it. It's almost like algorithms in linear algebra. Is You, you, you could say it's a, it's a title. I got the reference for this book from, uh, from uh, Reddit. Somebody on Reddit was talking about it. Multiple people on Reddit said it's, a, it's the book. Uh, to have in this on this subject and if I have time I want to do a little bit of this I'm not sure if I'm going to do it next year uh, I don't know when I get to it so as always too many books too little time too many math books too little time uh, yeah so I'll just show linear systems factorization uh, least squares there's, there's a lot of uh, SVD, of course, my favorite, my favorite subject. Yeah, so I'll just briefly show. But then when you get down to, uh, of course, they use their, their some mathematical package that I guess is really old and maybe mo a lot of people don't use anymore. I do not know that for a fact, but it doesn't really matter because, and this is why I brought the other book to show, uh, well, number one, it's got a ton of references. I mean, it's got references everywhere. Everywhere. Not only does it have these references in the front, but when you go into the actual book itself, I believe I saw a bunch of references as well. Let me be correct as I go through. So, see how the algorithms are shown in pseudocode, and this is completely independent of any programming language you would ever want to use, and that is great that marks a book uh, to be great because it's not like matrix computation for C++ matrix computation for Fortran matrix for Java for Python for R no it's just here's the algorithm and uh, you go apply it it's got problems and um, then if I go through let me see does it have I think I saw references yeah see this is what I was talking about so not only does it have book references in the front, but it's got specific article references for all sorts of computational linear algebra uh, subjects. So this book is rich, rich with content. And uh, yes, I think uh, if I was a cat and I had seven lives, I'm pretty sure I would go through this whole book. I'm not sure that I ever will, uh, but I just wanted to show it. And uh, yeah, it's, and then on top of that, it's got a bibliography. Really? It's got a lot of references. I think this is easily the math book that I have with the most references. Okay, so and then briefly I'll just show the, I, I, what I think is the parent. You know, this is like the constant, this is the variable. Uh, if you go through the MIT algorithms book, you will see that they use the exact uh, same method. I'll just show the table of contents in case somebody's interested in this book. Uh, and you may want to get your own copy. I got really lucky. I, I paid, I don't think I paid more than 40 bucks for this book, used, and it turned out to be spanking brand new. Okay, I'm going pretty fast through the table of contents because I don't want to say too much about it. It's got a website, it's got a bunch of discussion of what to do, but see, once you get into it, you'll see that everything is in this pseudocode. And if you, if you look through this book, you'll see that it's very similar in format, okay, to the Matrix book. Let's get back to it because this is this video is about this book. So yeah, I uh, I think this book is great, and if I had seven likes, I'm pretty sure that I would go through it.